Hi everyone, it's Amy Throat. It's almost Christmas and I'm fucking hating it. I still haven't gotten Sarah a gift because she's very difficult to buy for. Um, I've bought her a record player and records. She never listens. I've gotten her necklace, beautiful necklaces. She never wears them. My friend Melissa sent her a beautiful necklace that she had made and Sarah never wears it. And I got her a cup, and she did use that. I've gotten her books upon a million books, spent a fortune on books, and she gives them away. And she says she doesn't remember what happened. But I know it's because she gave them away, because where the fuck are they? They're gone. Or people told her, you know, I'll borrow these, and I'll bring them back, and they never, of course, did. I hate people. You know, like right now she's having troubles because there is an old guy going in her room, and I'm like... What the fuck? Why aren't the staff watching? They sure have time to catch COVID, but they don't have time to catch people going into our fucking room. Oh, I'm in a very bad mood, and I probably should not film anything. But this last week on Thursday, I believe my friend Craig gave me such a nice gift. Um... A couple of necklaces that he said when he saw them, he knew they were for me. And Peachy wants to steal them. I'm trying to manage. I'm going to order a stand, by the way, on, face, on Facebook. Fuck Facebook. On Amazon. God, I've got such a jowl. Hello, I've got an Englishman's jowl. God. Can't do it. Uh, but anyway, he got me... Look at this shirt I'm wearing. It's like from the 90s. And it's, this sleeve is all ripped up. I don't fucking care. I'm wearing it. Anywho, here's one. And what's funny is that... I love them both. What's funny is that this one is very similar. I don't know if you can see. Ooh. To a ring that Sean got me. I wish I could find it somewhere in my collection of jewels. But Sean gave me a ring that looks like this. Only had different stones. And it was a, it's a big ring. And it's really cool. This is also an eye patch. So, but isn't that beautiful? And then they both kind of hang like right about here. So they're not super long. And then here's another one. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm having trouble. Here's this one. And this is kind of like, I don't know. Let's see. Well, no, that's the back side. There. It's kind of a dark, a purplish, bluish stone. And then like a... A orangish one, maybe citrine, and then like a pearl, and then there's something else there, green. But aren't they gorgeous? This can this could be like a bindi. <laughs> there. Hello. <laughs> gorgeous. But um, I love them both. I mean, I wish I had places to show them off, but I don't go anywhere. Yeah, that is like a little peridot or something there in the corner. I don't know. Or blue. I'm not sure in this light. But they're both beautiful. Oh, no. What's happening there? Oh, no. It's okay. Calm down. Everybody calm down. But um, both beautiful. I can't believe he happened upon them and decided to get, look at my hair. Hi. Come on in. Everything's fine here. No, 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 no. But he saw them and um, got them for me. And I, he's very difficult to buy for because he's another one. Sarah's hard, but Craig is hard because Craig gets everything he wants. And then things he wants that he hasn't gotten are way out of my price range. So I'd love to, but anywho, I'll get him back. You know, I'll hit him back. He's going to be hit hard one day. And he's going to be yippity, skippity, dippity, doo. Yep.
But anyway, I am in a very poor mood. I hate the holidays. I really do. I hate them with a passion, especially these. I used to love Thanksgiving and Christmas, but now they could fucking be destroyed. I would be okay. Because one, when I look back at Christmas memories, I had some good ones. But after a certain point, it just ended. I was like 18. And that's when my family decided that only little kids get presents. Well, at 18, I was pretty much still a little kid. But, you know, it was a decision made because they were going to start a company, which failed. <laughs> but, uh, which I knew would fail because I'm empathic to things like that. And I'm not trying to sound cool because it's not like I know what anybody's saying, but I definitely always know when people are fucking shit and that's a whole other story that's going in the novel but anyway um i just i really um i'm in a poor mood and then my dad i saw that a friend's dad had died on the 19th and her dad was her rock and as she posted and i feel bad because I have, and I hope it doesn't work this way for her. I hope she has many blessings, but I'll tell you when my dad died in December, um, and he died on the 20th, I think. God, I don't even know. I'm so, my brain is so fucked up all the time, but so Christmas has never been after that, all the holidays. You know, they were shit before. Sarah and I usually had our own little holiday, and then Mom and Dad would come over later. But, um, you know, uh, holidays really went downhill after Dad died. And he was like, probably, he was not perfect, let it be said, but he was probably Sarah and I's best friend. You know, he would call us and say, you coming over? You know, I want to play cards. And then he'd always get mad because mom always managed to have all the aces. <laughs> Unless he was partners with her, that he was okay with that. But, um, you know, that's all over. And that's when he died, it all went downhill. I mean, I mean, my health was bad when he died. You know, I was much fatter believe it or not I had really blown up and that's all in the book it's fictionalized um you know the my character is different than who I am but there are characteristics that are the same of course you can't be a writer every character in my book is part of me you know I mean even the evil because we're all dark we have the dark side at low believe me I've lain awake many a night contemplating the best way to kill people <laughs> you know i used to think well hire someone hands clean but it never works because they always fuck up and you know or talk about it you know so you can't do that you have to do it yourself if you want things done right but um it's just been such a shitty you know i hate it you know as soon as it's november hit I don't mind Halloween, but then November hits and everybody's like, Thanksgiving! I have to be with my family. Well, I spent Thanksgiving alone. And I didn't think I'd care, and then I had a breakdown. And now I'm looking to Christmas. And, you know, I'll see Sarah, but like for a second, hi, and then she's like, I'm freezing. And I'm like, fuck you, goodbye. And I've not been smoking, and I'll tell you, I'm really struggling. <laughs> It's like all night tonight. I was like, I could go Ugh. and get a pack of cigs. I'm fighting it. I haven't had any cigarettes since Thursday. So when my friend Craig came and gave me those presents and I had a smoke with him, but I'm just, I can't be easy on myself anymore. You know, I've always broke down and said, go ahead. You're really stressed. Well, Everybody gets stressed, but they don't always go smoke. So I'm trying to not smoke. 
And it's really hard, you know, especially today was a hard day. And I was mean to Sarah on the phone. You know, I kind of argued with her a little bit. And then she ends it. And I'm like, fuck you. How come you get to end it? Every time you call me and upset me, I have to stay on. See, I'm in a grouch mood. But I don't know. I I have to, And also, I have to get new slippers. Because even though the slippers I had were falling apart, there was holes on the bottom. <laughs> of course, in the driveway, I'm walking back and forth. And while they're doing their business, and I'd forgotten that Peaches had shaken off some shit that was clinging to her ass earlier, and I walked right on it, and I just threw my slippers away. I'm like, done. You know, I'm not going to clean them. They got holes in them. Fuck it. It's over. But thanks to her now, I don't have slippers. And they bug me every night. We want to eat. We want to eat. We want to eat. And it's like, fuckers, the kitchen's closed. They're non-stop eaters, but I thought I was a fat fuck. But, anywho, I've just been so depressed, and nothing holiday would please me right now. Nothing. There's nothing that you can say or do. And I just feel like shit, and, you know, I don't really have... You know, my sister had asked me, are you going to make any more videos? And I seriously thought, I don't know, you know, but I have to, I have to, I don't know why I have to, I don't know, I just, it's not been a good time. Ooh, that's really good evidence uh, to yawn so expressively during your, uh, whatever this is, but anywho, I'm really having a hard time as many of us do this time of year, it's not just me, I understand. But, like, I didn't get any Christmas shit up, you know, and that's another, how, well, since before Dad died, really, before Dad died, we'd stopped putting Christmas stuff up, and that was 2007, you know, just lost it, you know, and, you know, it's just been hard. It's been a lot of hard years, like I told my sister Becky, let, it's got to be done, you know, this has got to be done because, I don't know, I deserve good things, you know, we all deserve good things, but I deserve it, I'm talking to me, so anywho, I guess I'll shut down, it's so boring, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be an interesting person, but there is no way for that to happen right now. <laughs> And I know most of my videos are like, mah, 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 you know, the Peanuts character. The, the adults always sound like that. Mah, 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 mah. Okay, we're all connected. Bye.